Yeah, so a lot of people face that burnout because it feels like the game turns into a job. I remember when the game first, first came out and we were immortals um, and you didn't have the queue for the vault and having to literally stand in line uh, and coordinate in game that that process. And it's like <laughs> on top of that, um, there was no like, you know, skip hard matches or stuff like that. Like it, you had very low resonance people getting absolutely shafted because they wanted to help defend the vault, but then they were just getting literally shitted on <laughs> by like 9, 10k uh, resonance players. So like they were doing their job, which was playing the event, but then they, nobody wanted to play with us, myself included, because of like how bad the, the matchmaking was. Um, on top of that, like it so, and it was a longer time span. Oh my God, well, wasn't it like, was it? four hours and they got it down to two and now it's down to one or was it two and then and now it's one i can't i can never remember where it started but it was so long i do remember that like i remember it was mandatory at the time and uh you know like of course most things are mandatory when it comes to like being competitive in any game um and the burnout was uh now it's one was two okay there you go there you go it was two. make a line yes make a line oh my god it was so bad uh, and then I think there was a oh there was the cooldown remember that oh my god and then there was the cooldown on it that they removed oh I totally forgot about that so like that was just vault you know and there's so many things that require you even now to be in game on a certain time and they've backed away from some of that but yeah I want problems all the time over on YouTube who asked the question originally or made the statement um, a lot of people get burned out and then Ellie even said like even in BGs I, I have rage quit God knows how many live streams because of getting burnt out of BGs and having bad matchmaking. Now, I also go through like the seasonal burnout of Diablo Immortal from a content creator standpoint, because I try to keep up with a, and I say try, and I, I literally do mean try. I'm not as good at this as I used to be. I try to keep up with a upload every day, whether it be a live stream, a YouTube short, or a full length YouTube video. Or in some cases, ideally, Again, perfect world. I would have a YouTube short and a YouTube video go up every single day. That's what I've like sort of tasked myself for in terms of a expectation for myself. I get burned out where you know I, I just run out of time to create content. And I'm like, dude, I, like, what the hell do I make a video on? You know. And now uh, there's always those state of the game videos and that sort of thing. But like, it's uh, that gets boring. You don't want to just shit on the game all the whole time because it's gonna like emotionally burn yourself out if you're just shitting on the game the whole time. But I, so for me, like I play the game a lot when the game is good, you know. Um, I think I saw an Asmund Gold video where he was like, "It's okay if you stop playing the game that you like because it's not good for a season or whatever." Uh, and then if it becomes good, you play the game. Diablo Immortal is the same way for me. I go into phases where I grind heavy. I go all into it. You can see, like right now, I'm just now approaching what is going to be. Uh, server Paragon um, at 410. I'm usually always ahead of Server Paragon, literally all the time. But I've been, I don't want to say burnt out, I've been very busy. Um, so I just go into what, what I call like maintenance mode. So when we're towards the end of a Inferno difficulty, I will stop prioritizing my dungeons. Um, I will only do my bounties once they get capped at 24. Um, and I sort of just like pace myself with that way. Uh, I still do my absolute most important dailies, whether it be my shadow contracts or my immortal stuff. And then my um, I've been fobs, like I make sure like the things that I have to do for my account to be successful, I do. Um, but outside of that, I will just literally pick a day of the week and do all my bounties or do all my dungeons uh, when I'm in that maintenance mode. And for me, that helps me enjoy the game for I think longer than others because that burnout is so real. Um, and to Ellie's point, not even just a whole game, but like by type of game mode in the game could burn you out too. So that's how I get through burnout. Just pace myself when I, when I'm loving when the game's in a good spot and I'm enjoying it, I play it a lot. But when I feel like it's not in an opportune spot, I don't <laughs> pretty simple complex, at least for me. Um, but I still get people who come in my YouTube comments, um, and even on the Twitch stream every once in a while who will like say how bad Diablo Mortal is. And I'm like, okay, you know, sure. Thank you for your opinion. But like, 
you went out of your way to say that. You know what I mean? Like you came into a chat or into a you like watched the video or clicked on the video long enough to share the fact that you hate the game. Um, and that that's the part like I like it was really bad in the beginning. It's less bad now. But yeah, haters going to hate me. Totally right. But it's like, dude, it's if you don't like it, then why, why did you watch a video? <laughs> why did you join a live stream if you hate it? Like, just don't play the game. Five head. Oh my God, I don't like the game. Let me just not play it. <gasps> Gasp. <laughs> uh, I, no, I, I used to, I used to like, I don't want to say get argumentative, but I got pretty fucking argumentative uh, in, in my comment section. And now I'm trying to be more positive because, you know, ultimately they're in its simplest form. Uh, like fifth time Noah. wizard bro does this person know me hold on i'm turning on my fan but ultimately if people get burned out and they quit the game and they want to come back and let me know that like i am <laughs> happy to uh you know discuss the game as a whole and how i think it could be better or even discuss suggestions and then share that with the dev team like you know what i mean i do feel um i don't want to say privileged but uh lucky to be able to have a direct line with the development team where we can share our feedback and feel like there's actual conversations. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's how I avoid burnout and how I try to play the game as a marathon and not, not as a sprint.